What is going on guys, BWIOS Gaming here, and today I'm going to be bringing you some gameplay of the new Supercell game, which is called Clash Royale. It's based kind of on the characters from Clash of Clans, with a few additions, and it's kind of strategy based. I really like it from what I've played so far, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you some gameplay. So, if you don't know how to get this, you actually need to be in one of the 10 participating countries. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cough. Um... But if you're not, if you leave a comment down below, um, I have uh, a iTunes, an Apple ID that I will allow you to use to download this app. Uh, it was Canadian, so you can go on and download this uh, pre-release. So yeah, basically, you can buy characters each every so often, every eight hours. There's some extra characters, as you can see here, the knight, which is common, a rare musketeer, which I've already bought four of those, so I could upgrade, and the baby dragon. I'm going to save up for baby dragon, um, but yeah, also you can buy chests, um, and they are to be used, you can get specific heroes, I'll show you the, no, not heroes, the cards, I'll show you the cards in a minute, um, and obviously you can buy gems, trade gems for coins. So if you go into the cards, there are different rarities. You get commons, so that's like the knight. The knight's a common. Um, you get uh, rares, and you get epics. So it's incredibly rare to get an epic. Uh, that might sound weird, a weird statement, but yeah. And my one of the uh, common uh, chests you get during the tutorial, I was lucky enough to get the prince, who is, in my opinion, one of the best. Um, rares that you can get in the first arena, in the second arena there are a few good ones like the Skeleton Army, the Witch, and the Baby Dragon's also pretty decent. Um, I've never seen that before, I want to see that, but uh, maybe one day I will. Um, but yeah, I was lucky enough to get the Prince. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so otherwise, next thing there is this. So there's three chests every so often. There is a crown chest. Crown chests basically you get it's it's crowns instead of stars. So if you destroy one building, you get one star. If you destroy their main building, you get three stars. And if you destroy two of the buildings, but not their main, you get two stars. So yeah. Um. And once the crown chest comes out, you need ten crowns, and you get a crown chest. So yeah, they're pretty good. Um. I you can have four chests down the bottom there, as you can see, it says locked. Um. I need to wait till this one's finished, and then I can open my other four. So I'm excited for that. Also, there's arenas. Um, per trophies, you get different arenas. And currently, I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm in the second arena. Um, but I have 500, no, 612 trophies. So if I go into the thing here, go into local, you'll actually see I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm actually sitting at number 56 locally. Um, there we go. And I'm also in a clan. Clan's name is Fury. So if we click down here and click the I there, you can see this is my clan, I'm number 11 in my clan currently. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so we're not doing too bad. Uh, you can see there's also achievements, I've done a couple of them. You really want to try and join a clan as fast as possible because you get 100 gems for doing that. So you can get a gold chest and have the possibility of getting something pretty rare in one of those, so that's pretty exciting I guess. Um, so you can do that, and I'm going to try and do some of the other achievements soon, and TV Royale, that's a really easy one to do, but you only get 5 gems. So it only cost 2 gold to battle. Gold's pretty, well, I wouldn't say it's easy to come by, um, I'm not sure other than, uh, I'm not actually completely sure how you're supposed to get, oh yeah, yeah, you get it for open chests, that's it. For every chest you open, you have a chance, you can get some, uh... Look, I wish I had that, I wish that was four gems and I would have got some. Sadly, I can't buy any gems because I'm actually from the UK. I managed to get a Canadian Apple ID, so I can't actually buy these, I don't think. Uh, I may try it, and what's this? This is, oh, this is my activity log. I can see I'm actually doing pretty well. Three ones, my kind of average. I've only lost three times, I think, since I've actually had the game. Out of maybe, I, I can't remember, I think if I click my name here, it'll show me how many attacks I've won. 25 wins. <coughs> And 24 of those with 3 crown wins. I found 15 different cards. I've donated 2. And favourite card is a giant. Which I would not say was true. I'd say my favourite card is the prince. Or the mini pecker. That's amazing. I love it. It's just so cool. Um, but yeah. 
So if I go over here, this is clan chat, and as I said, if you hit the eye, uh, basically I'll show you some of my raids, like attacking some clan mates. You can pay five and attack some clan mates, that's quite cool, so I'll show you my recent one. Uh, no, nope, this one here, this, oh no, it's not that one. This one here, I absolutely destroyed this guy, I think. So this is basically the concept of the game. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm going to exit now. You're going to see that bad uh, rotation and now I'm going to quickly go into my settings and put that on that and now if I go back into this and show you the replay it should be in portrait, this is the way it should look so this is the way it's like, I'll put it on times 2 just so you see it so basically you build up elixir down the bottom as you can see and you use that to get troops so uh, my favourite combination is I save up 10 and then I just use a giant and a prince um, because basically giant sponges and basically yeah so I'm actually going to slow this down here because this is uh, this guy basically gets absolutely destroyed like my troops here just run straight in his, uh, into his main tower and completely destroy him basically that's not really what usually happens um, usually people are a lot more strategic but uh, this guy just got destroyed I'm not going to lie like that was that was a quick win <coughs> Um, but yeah, that was one win. I'll show you another one. One, the second one, I believe, against my clan, one of my clan elders. In fact, I'll show you one of the top, this is the top guys. You can go into TV Royale, these are like the top pe people raiding. So I'm going to click on this. And these are like the, the top players raiding. It's pretty cool. I'm not actually sure, I've not really watched, I think Full Attack's either the best or the second best clan in the entire game, so... I mean, I know it's only been out for a little while, but they are pretty good. So, yeah. I'm uh, just watching this attack. This guy's doing pretty well so far. I think I've seen this attack, and in fact, the blue guy wins. I can't remember though. Hmm. Yeah, oh no, it was the red guy that wins, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was Dakan that wins. Yeah, I remember watching this. But, uh, oh, sorry for spoiling that, I guess, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good game. I will admit, it's uh, probably one of my favourite games currently on my phone. Or did he win? Oh no, he got beat. The thing had 41 health. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple, as I, I should say. Um, it, is, it is really simple, um, but it is a good little game. Oh, as you can see, I have a chest here. So basically, you get gold. So yeah, then you get cards. I got three goblins. Oh, I got a rare, that's pretty good. Oh, that means I can upgrade my goblin hut. I don't think I have enough coins to upgrade it, though. If I go down here... Oh, it costs 50 to upgrade. Uh, I think I might have enough gems to do that. I'm not going to do that, though. But, yeah, I can upgrade that if I want to. Or if someone... You can request cards. As you can see, this guy's requested cards. I'm going to donate him one. I'll just donate him uh, three, I guess. Or however many. So, as you can see, there you go. I can donate him cards. And... Um, yeah, so you can donate cards, and that allows you to uh, get XP and gold. XP as XP upgrades the level of your kind of main tower. So that yeah, that's good. But anyway, guys, that was just a short um, kind of preview. I'll do one live attack. I uh, have oh, well. <coughs> so basically, I didn't get my favourite hand. Um, but this isn't a bad hand, um, nonetheless. I don't really like the ability he's used there, uh, the goblins that are attacking that. We'll just wait for that giant to jump in a little bit more, now we can chuck in the little guy. Chuck in these. I'm going to get destroyed here because this guy has level 5 troops, damn. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get destroyed here, stick in some goblins. We're into the next stage, as you can see, you unlock a little bit, so you can actually start placing troops in their half. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, a pretty nice kind of addition to it. Um, brings something different. 
Um, that's an insane hero, as I said. That is my favourite hero by far. He should be able to just solo that. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Please get one more hit. Damn. I'll use the fireball, I'll put him down to like 100 health. Oh no, 200. Um, looks like a mini peck in here. Come on, just need to get a couple of hits. Yes, there we go, we got a 3 crown win. So, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Um, sometimes it does take a bit of strategy. Um, but yeah, so that was just a quick overview of this game. And yeah, so... If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or you'd just like to say hi in the comment section below, and subscribe more to other guys that can be WIOS Gaming. Goodbye.